everyone, Alexandra here. Today we're going over a tool which you might have seen other reviews on YouTube and you get a lot of positive feedback on it. They were talking about Taskade and yes, the buzz is real. It is a great tool for task management. So we are going to look at everything you can do in it and maybe if there are any negative aspects of the tool so that you can understand when it's best to use it and if you can go forward with working in tasking. Now straight away you have a bunch of workspaces on the left side and you can always just create a new workspace. I'm going to go for something like marketing, add an image, I'm just going to choose an emoji this time. You can also add an emoji after the name of the workspace. So Taskade is really friendly and they love emojis and colors. So you will find it super fun to use. You can always just invite new people or continue working alone independently in this. You can go to the left side and add extra subspaces like the water cooler chat or anything like that and you will find this here so this is perfect if you have multiple clients or projects you can add here as workspaces and then bring your teams under the subspaces just to get the left side out of the way you also have the dark mode here which you can select and some extra settings and of course the search bar and in a way Taskade does resemble Slack and especially Discord because you can also access here everything that's been shared with you so you can kind of bring all tasks and files together and the same is valid for your home really. Now to get started you can either go to create a template here or to new project and what you can do is create a blank project, bring the project from somewhere else from another tool you might be using or create a template. Now what happens when you click on create a template is that you actually create your own template from scratch so you don't have examples. But if you go back and click on blank project, this is what I like to do, you will actually find lots of templates here at the top. If you click on more, you have access to one of the best libraries of templates, workflows, documents you can use. So let's just opt for something simple like meeting notes. Now, once you create your meeting notes template, you can start editing on top of this. Now, if you'll notice at the first glance, the actual, let's call it document dashboard, has also on the right side here, the communication options. So you can always just create a new project from the top, see who is part of your team here. Then you have the option to change the structure or the format of how you manage your tasks. So you can have a board which is similar to a Kanban board and you can actually move it around just like Kanban boards work. You also have an action list, which is really a list of tasks and you have the options for each on the right side here. Then you have the mind map if you like working this way. This will be perfect for other types of documents, but it doesn't really work for task management. And you have your organization chart. So this is something you might not use as often, but it will work for creating maybe a list of duties or even the structure of your website. I like using the simple list. This is what defines Taskade after all. Do remember you have some extra options, for example, to check all tasks, to fold all tasks. You also have the version history in here. So in case you've changed something, this works a lot like Google Docs and you can kind of see what the current version is, what you've worked on, you also have the option to present your workspace. It's perfect if you want to go through your list of tasks during a meeting, for example, or if you have other types of documents and you have really a lot of other options in here. You can even move a template or document, let's say from one project to another, copy it. You also have your activity in here and again, some other options on your account. Now for the actual editing options, you have loads of them. So at the top, you will usually have the title of your document and you can always go on and add an emoji for each one of them to keep things fun. You can just, you know, change the text as usual, add a tag. And for tags, you can go super fun. 
and really just add as many as you want. And then you will start working on your document, task list, project board, whatever you want to create, just like you would in Google Docs. But it's more intuitive because you get the editing options as you go. So when you select text in this case, you have the option to change the format for every single section. And there's lots of fun formats, including just check boxes, check boxes as hearts. And yes, you can check them. In this case, once it's checked, it's just taken to the notifications section here, which also works as a common chat box. So you can leave comments. You can add mentions, you can add emojis and files as well. And don't worry, because compared to other tools we've reviewed like AnyDo, you can actually edit the comments as well or just reply to someone else. And from here, you even have an option to start a call. So you can bring all of your team communication efforts into Taskade as well. Now, back to our editing options, you know, you have the basics such as coloring, highlighting stuff, adding emojis, maybe adding project notifications. Then you also have the option to move tasks around, add an extra task, mark something as incomplete, and this is when the project completion starts to disappear. You can also just move a task over to Google Calendar or whatever calendar tool you're using move to a different place, duplicate the content, and you can even use this format of having just a bullet list or text, and you can even have subtasks like in this case. Now, I'm just going to briefly show you how you can create a subtask from scratch. So you are going to start with adding a check like this, and you're writing something like SEO, and then you can have maybe subtasks like audit, keyword research, whatever. Another option is to just create a large list of tasks and then you're going to add your big task like SEO. And then for audit and research, you can just drag these a bit until the purple line goes under SEO and this one as well. You can even drag and further have as many subtasks as you want, really. So there's a lot of options to work with here. You can then go and just add any kind of new blocks you want and work with them. Remember that even for the bullet lists, you can click on them and they will be marked as completed. That's why you will always have something like a number or a bullet list to help you mark the points you've already covered. Then here at the very bottom, you have some design options just in case you don't want to keep the same background for everything. And this is handy because you can have a different color or image for maybe distinct projects. Now, if you click on use template here, this is when you will be able to start sharing your board with your team so they can come in and collaborate on this. Again, leave comments. If you want to just use the task management option without the comments, you can leave them this way. Now there's some things that aren't as intuitive yet. So for example, when I completed this task, it got taken over to our chat box. Now here a team member can come in and say anything by replying. But another option is to go to your add-ons. And these are only available once the template is live. That's why we didn't have this option when we were editing the template. And here you can work with, you know, the classic options for tasks, like adding a due date. And here you can have a start time, an end time, or put the task on repeat so it can be a recurrent task. You can assign it to a teammate leave a comment and you can leave a comment just like this on the task. Let's just leave a couple more. So what happens now is that you will see the comments here under the task or you can just go to comment and you will see them here as well. So you can kind of see the activity around the task here at the bottom. You can always just add maybe extra files or embed right here on our document, a YouTube video. 
So I'm adding the URL of my own video and it will get to appear right here. And you can just add lots of extra add-ons in here. So I think the tool is super fun to use. Now, if you go back to your marketing workspace, you'll notice you also have just some tasks in here. And this is when the tasks you've added here. So for example, let's say we add a due date to this for tomorrow. Now this task is now supposed to appear here. And from here, you'll see what you have to work on. And you can also filter by tasks that are assigned to you so that you'll know exactly what you have to work on. Then you have the roadmap, which again gives you a rough idea of where you are and where you need to get. You have your templates as well, which is super handy because you can always just create new meeting notes, new scrum boards, whatever, and you have the projects that you have completed. So honestly, this is Taskade. It's a great tool to use, but if you are a large team, you might want to consider extra complex features so it might not work for you if you need a Gantt chart or if you need time tracking. There's some integrations you can connect to Taskade for features like time tracking so that will also work. I do recommend you give this tool a try together with your team to see if you can get used to it because the breakdown or let's say the structure of the app with workspaces and subspaces and projects and tasks within projects can get overwhelming if you're getting started and not familiar with this. However, it's honestly a very fun tool to use, so it's definitely worth a shot. If you need more tutorials like this, let me know what you want me to review. Don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe, like this video, and enjoy the rest of your day. Have a great day ahead.